Yes, yeah, so many people was thinking that when you go to the monastery, you will get peaceful feeling and then you will get good practice. Everyone have hope this way. I also felt that before that, I, there's, uh, there's a reason I did to, um, practice, okay, and wear on the robe and uh, all day, and I, I thought I can practice every day, but it's really different from my lifetime. So every day I have to cook in the kitchen, sometimes, you know, kitchen, cook in the kitchen, happy in the kitchen, happy. That's a competition, none to none, senior nuns were not happy because I was started all day, the time people offer me the goodies, the friendly, you know, so they get jealous of me and they fight me, they don't want me to stay in the monastery. So they give me different kind of reason. And also my teacher asked me to cook for him about the food, and then so I have to take care of his food, but I didn't have knowledge about cooking. At home, I didn't cook, and then so for me, a lot of pressure. You know, early in the morning, three o'clock, you have to wake up and prepare for the food. And also, a few Mahatira, one a Westerner, one in Sri Lanka, one in Swami Sarah. You know, for these three, I had to take in care. So, a lot of pressure for me, especially for Papa Sarah. He was uh, no good with his hair, his stomach is no good. If I cook one day, it's something is not really he can diarrhea because of my food, anyway, it's other food. And diarrhea, they start to blame me and scold me, and because I got so I feel very tired the whole day. And at 12 o'clock, you do it prepare. And the people always like to scold and brain and the many reasons they show me that. So I was very unhappy, always happy to cry. But today, all the time, like the crying is just my friend, good friend, you know, crying after the better and do again. Because we, about this culture is very close. You can go anywhere. When you feel tired, you can relax, go out. We didn't have that culture. We have to we suffer in the room, you know, so always have to suffer in the monastery. So not really happy about it. So I did mention bounce and bounce and like this thing I found it. Don't care about that. Let go of what people told you that. So for him easy, but I had to solve I had to face the problem. He didn't face that at all. Not correct, yeah. Sometimes I'm not happy about it. So sometimes I just contemplate this vision to karma. Because they did not understand why people support me, why people respect me. This is my karma. They did not understand why they compete. A competition is not good for that. In the end, I just try to do economy. I don't mind what people talk. Is that I just want to concentrate. I change my mind. I don't worry what people talk. What is I'm doing now? I'm doing hope something for the monk. For the Sangha community, I will get good marriage. I did offer it also for the Sangha, the time our monastery very poor. Every Sunday I did offer breakfast for the monk and then for the monastery people. So I'm happy to do that. So then I contemplate in this way, trying to make it encourage myself and then I'm happy again, true again for these five years. Now.